okay, cool. This the um, this the how I met Pablo story. Well, I initially met Pablo around the uh, cast talk one or two days, cause what it, when Spins that back when DJ Spins used to be hosting my mixtape, so I was at Spins' house like turning the songs in, going over the songs, and I like I think I recorded a, I think I recorded what you tell them go out at Spins' house that night. But Pablo sitting on the sofa the whole time though, like he sitting on the sofa the whole time I been at um Spins' house. So shit, I'm at Spins' house just recording. Woo -woo -woo. We did everything I just told y'all we did. And then I started just hot. You know me, I'm 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 a holler at people. Like, I ain't gonna walk past nobody. I'm gonna doubt everybody up in the room. So I ain't a deaf bro, 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 bro had drip on. You know what I'm saying? Like to where you can tell, like what he he had some going on. I don't know what it was, but it was some. Like it wasn't no major shit. Cause it was just you know what I mean. Niggas just was. You could tell. I mean, I just know how to tell when I see tight niggas. What man? So basically, me and him, and uh, me and him, he was like. Did back when I used to call it the third way when, when we used to roll three Swisher Sweets together. We'll make three Swisher Sweets, one blunt, and he called, that's what he called the third way. I ain't call it that. That was, that was, that was Pablo when go. So yeah, after that, boom. It's like, we, we, we got cool that night, but we ain't lock in that night. Like, it's like, okay, cool. we got cool that night. So every time we see each other now, for now, we know each other. I know your name, you know my name, what's happening, boom, I know you from, you know I'm from, we're gonna dap each other up, Ooh, Pablo wasn't a rapper at the time, he wasn't a rapper, wasn't thinking about rapping, but wasn't, wasn't even thinking about rapping, home was trapping out of any uh, hood rich mixtape store that they had, and I ain't snitching on no nigga, cause shit, it's not Statue of Libertation, or whatever you wanna call it, yeah, but Pablo will be working the one like he's selling CDs, Cause Hood Rich always had the DVD shit on lock with the mixtapes and shit. This book, this, you had to be around though, I'm talking about it. Like if you, if you like 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, you probably not gonna really understand what I'm talking about when I talk about mixtapes and pressed up CDs. But, so yeah, after that, boom, hit, bro, I be doing that. So around the time when I started fucking with Long Way, which I had already knew long way from Zone 3, John Brown so I had already known him, but when, by the time I started fucking with him on some rap shit, cause the nigga was fucking with him on some shit before rap, but when I started fucking with him on some rap shit, shit, we just used to be always just vibing and just had came to a point to what shit, he, he had the studio in the spot, so niggas weren't even leaving the spot, niggas would spend a night at the spot, niggas would leave the spot, go take a shower, come right back to the spot, shit like that. This is the lobby that I'm talking about. Yes, I'm talking about the lobby. We was in the lobby. So yeah, for the most part, after that, shit, that, these, this the Mala days. So niggas is booming up crazy, woo, woo, woo. We booming up crazy, make a long story short. Me and Longway recording, Thug come through that recording. A lot of people come through that recording. Migos come through that recording. Uh, Skipper the Flipper, Rich the Kid, all them come through that recording. Pablo would be there, but he would not record because he wasn't a rapper. He didn't care to rap. Real shit, bro, didn't care to rap. So he'll be there, but he wouldn't care to rap. So one day he had just got so high, and we ribbing him up. But it was kind of like Longway ribbing him up on some plan shit, like going in. Like Longway thought he was really gonna go in there and just make a fool of himself, like cause he was so high. So he was like Longway just wanted a laughing moment, moment. But the laughing moment ended up turning into what Pablo is today, as far as the artist and what he accomplished. Cause like he 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 kept trying to come out the booth because he felt like niggas was laughing at him. That's another thing that the Mala make you do. It how you thinking a whole a, a whole two three other people conversation is about you and it's not even about you. But back to the point. So yeah, he will keep coming out the booth because he had laughing and shit. So he think when we laughing that we laughing at what he actually saying. See what I'm saying? We ain't laughing at what he actually saying. We laughing cause we know he high and he gotta keep got them doing these takes over and over and over and over and over and he ain't even got past like four or five bars. You got a whole twelve bar verse to do, but she ain't even got past four, past 
four or five bars and get one of these texts over and over. So that's what we were laughing at. And they was laughing at you were high too, that he was high too. So maybe it was long story short. That's when y'all get the uh, African Diamonds out of Long Way in Pablo. That was like one of his first songs that he popped out on. Like niggas, but it was like, I ain't gonna lie to you, like, niggas weren't really feeling, like, niggas was acting like blow one hard, like, cause he had, like, an unorthodox flow and shit like that, so, even when I was bringing, like, music that me and him had to my side of town or whatever, cause he, cause he, he ain't had been discovered as an artist yet, he's still on come up stage, so I'm bringing his music to my side of town, niggas saying, like, oh, they, they questioning it, I knew he had it from the jump, like, I don't, I got two mixtapes with him, like, I don't, y'all can go check my resume, man, I work with the, I don't work with every hot artist that done came out the city before they had their big break, for sure. So, you know, I got the ear for it. So, it's like, I already knew he had something. Like, just even having that unorthodox flow, which nobody else in the city had, which they started him and his crew, and they it went on up to D.C. and all that. Yeah, yeah, that come from Atlanta. Soldier Bus stole it, all that. A lot of niggas ate this, this drip up, but... Yeah, let me get back to the story. So, shit, one day we were sitting in the goddamn parking lot of the lobby. And it seemed like bro just was confused as fuck. Like, he was confused. With, I don't know what he was confused with. I just think he was confused with, with life. Like, I think he was in a tight spike, like like a tight space in life at that time. Like, and my brother, like, I saw it all over his face. So it was like, I'm just sitting in the car with him. We could have been sitting in the spot. But mind you, we were just sitting in the car in the back of a house that we be in, the spot. So, shit. Once we sitting in the car. It wasn't necessarily, like, on no shit to where, like, he, he he's just telling me, like, he ready to boss up. Like, he taking the music shit serious. He finna go ahead and boss up. And we need to start our own new shit. I'm like, what you mean by that? He was like, shit. You SVL, long way MPA. We fought with MPA. We 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 up on the MPA umbrella, but ain't now one of us stop ourselves as NBA MPA. We just fuck with long way for real. Like it don't gotta be stunt. We fuck with you, bro. So make a long story even shorter. That's when he came up with money, power, and respect. Sitting in the car. I swear to God, sitting in the car, he came up with money, power, and respect. Boom. I was like, shit, they run with it. The key in all nationality, I'm the co CEO of Money Power Respect. <laughs> Cause I was the only nigga in the car with him when he came up with it. But that's another story. So boom. Now when when he when he come up with that, we, we, he ready to pull out now and go kick some shit. And Jay go get into some shit. But the man's so high, bro, I swear to God, we wrecked three times that day. This same day. The same day that he came up with NPR. What line he finna be pushing all that, how he coming, all that. And we talked in the car for about two hours. We pull out, the man get into three wrecks. No bullshit. One on the expressway, two on main streets. All along was a hit and run. The man falling asleep behind the wheel. The man, the car just going, boom! All oh, that old shit that I'm talking about, man. Oh, my God, what happened to Virgil, man? My dog was my dog was on it, man. You know what I'm saying? That when the designer drugs kicked all the way in, you dig what I'm saying? So... It's like, that's how it was going. And then ever since then, to keep it real, ever since that day, we just been locked in, bro. We just been locked in. He always wanted to see me win. He knew I wanted to see him win. We did the two mid-states. First of all, I put him on Osama Ben Guapo. I put him on Osama Ben Guapo first. And put him on Osama Ben Guapo first. Before I did mid-states with him. Before I did mid-states with him, I put him on Osama Ben Guapo. And after that... Like, niggas ain't even, like, you gotta go back. Y'all can go back right now. It's called, it's a song called Records. That was, like, my first introduction along, I mean, of um, Pablo to the world for me. And then after that, we went Million Dollar Plug 1, Million Dollar Plug 2, hanging together every day. Ooh, ooh, ooh. And then, you know, shit, the road started getting a little bunky, bunky. But brothers started doing what brothers do. We started going through shit, having disagreements about certain shit, not saying shit the same way. So we never had a beef or a fallout or nothing like that. It's just we gave each other our space and respect. You know what I'm saying? Because you got what you got going on. I got what I got going on. But we know we done built with this million dollar plug shit. So we're going to keep that going. And I'm going to let y'all know Pablo ain't got that long. He'll be home soon. So y'all just stay on the page. Y'all make sure y'all share the video. Y'all like. Y'all subscribe. Y'all get my numbers up. 
We at 5K. I need to be at 6K before the week over. Before the week over. What today is Wednesday? Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. I got five days to get me to uh, 6K, and I'll come with the, another story. Yeah, and y'all can comment with, up under this what story y'all want me to, a story y'all want me to speak on. And I'm going to speak on it. But, yeah, that's how I met Pablo, for real. This is a story of me, me and Pablo, and like an Pablo. Free Pablo, by the way. Hood! Huh.